Every year, RMIT students at Kaplan fly to the Melbourne campus for real life industry visits and lab experiences. Good morning, my name is Ramil Kibison from RMIT Singapore. My name is Ravi Barman. Hi, I'm Miranda. I'm Thomas Joseph. My name is Krishnamurti Anandan. I'm coming here to RMIT for the second time to do my labs. Most of the lab was very interesting. What we learned in theory, most people might have a difficulty to understand. But when it comes to practical, people have more understanding and people can see how things really work. So the main objective is to give them the you know, hands-on experience. So they can touch all those things, they can see, they can visualize, they can operate. Some of the students have no idea about that you know, equipment before. After the lab, I could understand the real concept of the subject. Yeah, it was really good. Yeah. One of our focuses this year is the student experience and to ensure that they are gaining the practical knowledge along with their theory to be employable going forward. To be able to find jobs in any other part of the world with this certificate. I recommend to my juniors also to study in RMIT so they can explore the mechanical sides of day-to-day -day life. They can analyze all the things. So it will be very useful for their career. Our wind tunnel is the second largest wind tunnel in Australia. So this experiment will give the student the opportunity to design and see the aerodynamics the properties of these structures like cars, different helmets, sports equipment. On this experiment, we can study how they use it in aerospace applications. So we can measure what is the wind speed and what is the aircraft speeds and what altitude we are flying. Back in Singapore, we don't have any of these things, so I felt better that we, we did a little bit of practical instead of just theories and, and calculation. Actually, they experience the Australian country and Australian wildlife and the life outside the big cities in Australia. And they enjoy that. Yeah, it was very interesting to watch those ships get shipped. Oh, from the first time I entered Melbourne, then I was so excited. Uh, I'm enjoying do the sightseeing in Melbourne. We have gone to Great Ocean Road. We have seen the 12 apostles. Philip Island is a penguin, it's a fantastic. We have gone to the Yarra Valley. We have fed some kangaroos. All that was really cool. Yeah. Yesterday we went uh, to this de desalination plant. Uh, those students were shown how the desalination plant works, what is its importance. The equipment, everything is so huge. They are directly pumping the water from sea. Yeah, it was great exposure and uh, experience as well. So in Australia we have a unique culture and it's a, it's a very hands-on and approachable sort of culture. Other universities I've found I have a less focus on the practical side of things, which is really where you need your experience and knowledge to be able to go out into the workforce. None of our competitors does what we do. We have these two leading edges. One of them is the residential visits, the other one that RMIT staff go and teach in Singapore. Uh, and on campus here, uh, every uh, Thursday they have uh, table tennis and Jenga and the games playing on, and that's always enjoyed by all. For those who, uh, the prospective students, what I suggest for them that this is a great opportunity for them uh, to be connected with these uh, RMIT facilities. We have uh, high quality facilities here. They build that belonging. They go back home feeling that they are actually RMIT students and they are part of RMIT, not just studying remotely. Oh yeah, really I will recommend to my friends the teachers here are very friendly. We can contact them even after we go back. I hope that I, whatever I learn here, I can bring up to my future career so that I can be a good engineer, yeah. <laughs> because that was my dream, to become an engineer. And RMIT is helping me to pursue my dream.